Hey guys, I wanted to go through the Arsenal app. I really should have done this uh, in the uh, first video, but better late than never, hey. Uh, so I've pretty much charged my Arsenal 2 Pro. I've used probably 2% just sort of getting ready, getting set up. Um, so just down the bottom here, um, hopefully you can see my little marker there. Um, you'll see the app version right down the bottom there. Um, you can also click this user guide, and it'll take you to a website at the moment of the time of this video. It'll take you to a website to show you the online manual. Um, so today we're using the Canon R5 with the 16 to 35, and what we're going to do is we're just going to briefly show you the application and uh, what features are offered from the A2 Pro. So click connect. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. Uh, who would have thought there was a firmware upgrade ready to go? So when the application is updated through the Apple Play, sorry, it's not a Play Store, is it? The Apple Store or the Android Play Store, um, the firmware is embedded into the application. So when you're out in the field with no reception um, and you connect your arsenal to uh, the app, the firmware is ready to go and update. So what we'll do is we'll just let that update, let it reboot, and we'll come back and continue with the app. Okay, so the firmware is upgraded and we're now in the app. Um, this is the main screen that you get to. Um, I've got my uh, camera in portrait. Um, I didn't actually realize that um, Arsenal will not flip the image in the app. So there you go. Um, that's something new. Um, for, for this video, what should we do? Um, leave it in portrait. Um, maybe I will spin it around because it is going to get pretty annoying um, when you're trying to look at the app. So uh, let's just uh, change that around and I'll be back. Okay, now we're back. So... Um, really the image that I'm showing there isn't really important. Um, it's just more so that there's something on the screen that you guys can look at. Um, so let's go up into the top right hand corner and go to settings. Um, first up here we have the device, the Arsenal 2 and the camera that we're using. Um, you see underneath Arsenal 2 it says Arsenal 2 Motionless Shark 231. So every arsenal has a unique name. Um, that is my unique name. Uh, you can disconnect from there. I never have. Um, you can see when I started, we were 98% battery. We're now 96 at the end of all this. Uh, we'll make sure we go back and have a look at the arsenal, um, what percentage it's on. So these are just the settings we've got. N enable night assist. Night assist uses uses preview shots instead of live view and lets you focus in on the stars so i haven't done any night assist yet i have been quite busy since uh, getting the arsenal um, time delay so just like on your camera you can set a time delay so if you want to run run into the shot yourself um, without having your phone in your hand to trigger it you can use the uh, time delay to trigger it now mirror lock up um, just note that is only for the DSLRs only. I have a mirror, so I don't actually have that um, enabled. And refocus before shot. Um, so again, you know, you're shooting into the, you're running into the scene, and you want it to refocus. Um, that's a good option to have. Um, the gallery. Um, so you can basically clear everything from the uh, the gallery, so it refreshes it. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Um, photo storage. So if we go into this, we'll see that we've got a column for the micro SD card that goes into the arsenal and your phone. I've got nothing saving to my phone, but I've got everything possible saving to um, my micro SD card that's in the arsenal. Um, of course, I've selected everything I can um, uh, raw, um, except the stacks. But as you can see, the stacks will eventually allow you to have raw. Um, so my individual photos are raw, 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 so it allows me to pop them onto the computer and um, 
edit them from there. So nothing to my phone because I don't use my phone to edit and I'm not going to be uh, sharing unedited stuff straight from the arsenal. I, I, I really want to have the end um, control of what gets put out. Um, that tells you about uh, my phone and what's available. Um, that also gives you a bit of a summary on your micro SD card. Okay, hardware placement. Um, so if you're using the phone mount, um, which I did show in my first unboxing, that little phone mount uh, then mounts the arsenal on a different angle. Um, so the arsenal needs to know which way it's facing. So you can mount that on the phone mount. Um, okay, handheld photo review gesture. Um, now, I've been told the mirrorless cameras don't need this, um, but what happens in handheld mode, um, we will go through handheld mode in the next video. Um, so handheld mode, when you put your camera down and face it, to it towards the ground, it allows you to press your review button to go through your photos. If you're holding your camera up in the air, taking the shots, um, the arsenal is in control of your camera and you'll go into photo review, it either won't go into the photo review or um, it'll go in there and it'll flick quickly out um, because the arsenal is constantly changing the settings of the camera. So if you've got an SLR, um, the handheld photo review is the way to go uh, because you, you can just point your camera down to the ground and it basically pauses the arsenal for a moment so it allows you to cruise in and change settings or look at your photos. Um, LED brightness on the back of the um, arsenal, we've got uh, a row of LEDs, you can turn them down, um, especially if you're doing night shots, you know, you don't want any sort of uh, reflect reflections onto anyone else's lenses, you don't want it to light up your face, etc, etc. Um, again, you can go to the user's guide within here, uh, legal information, I don't know who reads that shit, and info, that's your app version and your serial number. Nice and straightforward, easy done. Uh, top left, uh, top right hand corner, um, we have the live view. So you can turn that off and on, easy. Now, right now, we are in smart mode. So if we want to take a picture of uh, this chair, we just click the button, it chooses the settings as you just saw, and takes the shot. And then just down in the bottom right hand corner here, that's the photo. And give it a bit, oh there we go. See the slider here? That is the deep color slider. So if you look at the window, see how it's blown out? Slide across to the deep color slider. And it's actually focused a little bit on the outside. You can actually see what's behind the blinds now. And you'll see that the color has increased. Like, look at the teddy, look at the blue blanket, everything looks a little bit better. So, um, deep color is uh, allowing you to edit an image without editing it on a computer. So, you can go in there and share that straight away to the internet um, and without even putting it on your computer and editing it. So, then if we slide across, we've got manual mode. So just like manual on your computer, um, computer, sorry, manual on your camera, um, you can select all your settings here, your f-stop, your ISO, you can select what mode on your camera you want to use, um, and focus by pushing the, the, the screen anywhere you want to go. So, not sure where I was up to there, so you can um, you can just press on the screen. Sorry, I had a bit of an interruption there, and I'm not sure where I was up to. So, um, so I was showing how you can uh, focus on any point that you like, and then just basically take the shot. Um, so that's manual mode. Manual's pretty simple, like, um, I don't think I would personally use the manual mode on the application because um, I can just use manual on my, com on my camera. Um, the beauty about using manual on your arsenal um, is that you can remote trigger it. So you don't need to be behind the camera or use a corded remote. Um, 
that's probably the only time I would use this. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, over to time lapse. Um, so, smart lapse. It is simple as focusing and pressing the time lapse button. This works it out itself. Um, I'm guessing it looks at how busy the scene is, how how quickly things are moving, and it determines what to do itself. Um, custom. Um, so what you can do is, if you've got a real fast moving scene like fast moving clouds or traffic, you might want to uh, lower the interval and increase the number of your shots. So. Right here it says run time is 19 minutes and the playback time is 10 seconds. So if you need a time lapse for a video and you're like, I need 10 seconds of time lapse, you know that you need to um, dedicate 19 minutes of your time to capture that, that time lapse. So if we were to take 10,000 shots, you can see it would take 13 hours, 53 minutes, for six minutes and 57 seconds playback. Um, so I think that's really cool um, to give you that overview of um, how much time you need to put into a time lapse as well as how much time you're gonna get out of the time lapse. Um, a slider, um, basically external trigger port. Arsenal manage, manages the exposure and settings while your slider or pan and tilt rig triggers shots through your camera's trigger port. Um, I don't know anything about, uh, about it. I don't have a slider, so um, maybe one day I'll get into this and, and know how this works. Um, camera settings, um, so if we just go fixed. Um, then camera settings down here uh, Arsenal manages exposure and settings. The Holy Grail. Arsenal manages exposure and settings within within ranges and um, priorities that you define. So if you're doing a, a time lapse that goes from uh, day to night, you select the Holy Grail one. Um, then you potentially don't get um, flashes and flickers from the change of f-stop and shutter speed. Basic, use manual settings or your camera's exposure modes. So it's, it's pretty simple. I think if you're new to it, um, click it on auto, give it a try, see what happens. If you don't like the results, you know, try the holy grail one or choose the basic one. As you can see, the basic one here, you can set all the settings yourself. Holy Grail, you can again set all the settings. Um, and auto, you don't have control over those settings. So I think that's pretty straightforward. If you don't know your settings, you don't know how to do a time lapse, but you want to experience it, whack it on auto, see how you go. All right, um, let's go back to the smart mode. So um, the other thing that this smart mode can do, apart from choosing all these settings itself, um, it can do photo stacking. So down in the bottom corner here, so bottom left-hand corner, right here, click on that. So the first one is crowd control. So um, a really good example of this is one that they show in the promotion. It's um, shot out the front of the Eiffel Tower with a stack of people around. So what happens is in crowd control, um, if you have a lot of people moving around, you keep your interval down and that's how, how long between shots. So um, if you want to remove everyone from your, your shots, um, chuck it on crowd control and take the shot and basically it'll just keep on taking shots, analyzes the scene and then puts it together and goes bang, everything that moved in the shot is now being removed. Simple as that, simple. Um, you can do it for cars on a street as well. Set your camera up on the highway and go, well, there's heaps of cars cruising down the road. Let's set an interval every three seconds, take a shot. 
So it just basically combines all those shots in the end and then produces a photo with nothing in that shot that was moving. Simple. Exposure bracketing. So you have a, um, a scene like this where it is very bright in the window. As you can see, very bright in the window, but well exposed on the chair. So um, you want to um, basically have the window exposed, like maybe there's clouds outside the window and you want that exposed as well. Um, use this feature, exposure bracketing. So um, take three shots, um, try one stop or two stops different, take the shot and find out what it does. Let's just quickly focus on the chair, press smart, it's going to take three shots. As you can see, bang, we open it up. Let's go into the gallery. Open up, you can see that it's taken a real dark one, a normal one, and a bright one. It'll combine all those shots together in this top section right here. We'll just let that um, happen. Okay, so as you can see, it's finished. We'll click on that. And you'll see that it's exposed the scene um, very even even light so through the window you can actually see something outside now um, so it's combined those three images together to create a well exposed scene now think about you're out in the field and you're taking a shot of a, a, a tree and the tree is quite dark but the sky is bright um, this is another um, feature that you can use to get a well exposed scene. Um, some cameras have this feature built in, um, but you have to combine them yourself on the computer where the arsenal is doing that for you. Um, some cameras call it HDR, so high dynamic range. Okay, so you can see how that works. We have focus stacking. Um, now, my previous video goes through this. Um, it's about focusing on the nearest point, uh, selecting how many pictures you want to take, and your focus step. Check out my previous video if you actually want to see this working properly. Um, and then we have long exposure stacking. Um, so produce a long exposure by taking multiple shots and averaging the pixels into a new photo. So if you're taking a picture of a waterfall and you want to have the motion in the water um, you can use this feature to do that and it will take multiple shots combine it together to make you know that silky smooth water um, that you see in people's uh, waterfall shots without needing a neutral density filter um, so that have a go at that uh, find it you know even use a tap at home um, and just just play with it um, before you you head out, find yourself a waterfall set up and then realize you have no idea what you're doing. So give that a shot. The fifth option is off, do not stack. So that is what the app is about. Um, it's not hard, there's nothing you know too tricky there. Um, please comment below if you want me to go through anything on this app in detail. Um, whether it's the you know crowd control, I'll go out and I'll I'll, I'll do a test. Um, you want to see the exposure bracketing working properly outside? Um, I can do that. Um, focus stacking I've done briefly in my previous video, uh, but we can do that out in the field. We can do everything out in the field. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and we'll get this done all right guys um oh yeah that's all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna cruise in and have a look at the battery level so we started off with 98 we're now down to 85 and we've pretty much done nothing so some people have been um reporting about the battery life on the arsenal um for me that i haven't done anything really um, that's not the best battery life. Um, just think if you're out in the field, um, you had this constantly turned on, you're taking photos, 
uh, I think you'd probably want to be charging your arsenal in between shoots. Anyway, boom, disconnect. We'll see you next time, guys. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to have plenty more coming up. Cheers.